Valtteri Bottas left his second home, Australia, empty-handed with no points for the third straight race. 15th the best he could do, given ongoing issues with the squad's pit equipment. Melbourne was Bottas's latest frustration, following a disappointing run at 2024 season opening races in Bahrain and Saudi Arabia, where he finished in 19th and 17th respectively for 20th in the standings. But the Finn, who enjoyed a spin in some classic F1 cars at the Adelaide Motorsport Festival, ahead of his trip to Melbourne, explained that his 24 season is better than it looks. Yeah, I mean, it's super close. Like, I think if you look at the results, it doesn't look great at all. But um, I think we still haven't had any clean races. We've had the pit stop issues with, with both cars in, in two races. And uh, yeah, to be honest, in, in Saudi, I should have been in Q2 uh, without the traffic in the, in the qualifying. So it's, I think we haven't seen yet where we are. Bottas will head to Japan as one of seven drivers yet to score points with his 20th in the standings just one place above embattled Williams driver Logan Sargent, who sat on the Melbourne sidelines. Bottas knows he has to make the most of every race, with the Finn one of 13 drivers out of contract at the end of the year, though his priority is to re-sign with Sauber, soon to be Audi, rather than move on. I see a big opportunity on the on the Audi project, which is uh, the team is becoming officially Audi in 2026. Um, I think that's interesting always when you have a big manufacturer like that entering the sport. I think there's an opportunity for me, though. So that's the priority. But for some reason, if not, I think uh, the driver's market is pretty wide open still for now, for next year. So let's see. Bottas, though, seems confident he will remain in F1 whatever happens, with age no longer a barrier ensuring any ongoing contract negotiations aren't a distraction. I don't have a number in terms of years because I don't see the, my time in F1 ending anytime soon. So yeah, I'm now 34, Fernando Alonso is 65. So I think he's, he's pretty good reference that you can still perform. Thanks for watching. To stay up to speed on all things Formula One, make sure you hit the subscribe button.